Pow. Can you say cliffhanger? Cliffhanger? Say it with me. Cliffhanger. Oh, you saw the markets today? I was I was I passed by a CNN TV at around five o'clock. What did I see? I saw Wolf Blitzer on TV saying blaming Trump because the Dow is down four hundred fifty nine today. Why? Because because the president told the truth about Trump. He's take they're, they're crushing they're crushing uh, uh, the, the the U.S. Postal Service, and, and they don't pay a nickel in tax. Don't pay a fucking Amazon. Doesn't pay a nickel in fucking tax, and they're crushing the the the. The, the United States Postal Service and Trump calls him out on it and we're supposed to feel sorry for oh, 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 poor, 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 poor Amazon. How much did you make, fucking Jeff Bezos? How much did you make? How much did you how much are you worth? $127 billion. We should feel sorry for you. Fuck you, Amazon. Fuck you. Fuck you, Amazon. My name is Marcus Conti. I'm a <laughs> investigative journalist. So this is this is big news, right? Cliffhanger meaning if you if you're not if you guys are not familiar with the market, right? The Nasdaq and the Dow are currently on on uh, challenge testing support, meaning they actually broke support today. Nasdaq closed under support, and so did the Dow, right? Double bottom. They tried it again. Market is now. Technically, we'll we'll see in the next week, but it's technically in a reversal. It's a bear market. It's going down, right? Look, kiss your assets goodbye because it's time that, it, it well, for whatever reason, <laughs> for whatever reason, right? People are waking up to the fact that the markets are a scam and they're a ripoff, and and uh, and these these cocksuckers don't pay pay a nickel in tax, right? So if you have stock, it's time to get out. You know, if you got cash in the bank, it's time to pull it out. Am I right? Are we are we causing this? Are we causing this? Are we talking it up? Does does talking talking up the markets or talking down the markets have an effect on the markets? You bet your fucking ass it does. You bet your ass it does. The more you talk about it, and the more you expose the corruption that is Amazon, that is the six large banks, Citibank, J.P. Morgan, Wells Fargo, go they're going down, going down, sell off. They're selling off. It's big news, you know? See, that's my president, right? My First Amendment president getting out on, on Twitter four days ago and calling out Amazon, Jeff Bezos, breaking a trillion dollars in market capitalization, doesn't pay a fucking nickel in tax. Not one fucking nickel, right? So we should feel sorry for them? They're ripping us off. Amazon is ripping you off, ripping me off. It's, it, they, they're creating a slave, slave labor nation. They're sinking, the, they're sinking the, the U.S. Postal Service, and we should feel sorry for them? We should listen to Wolf fucking Blitzer, six $6 million a year Wolf Blitzer and, 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 and Anus, uh, Anus Cooper. Anus, that's his name, Anus, Alice, Anderson, <laughs> excuse me. Anus Cooper and, and Wolf Blitzer are, are on CNN blaming Trump for the crash in the market. Yeah, 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 blame him, right? But give him credit. Credit where credit is due. The markets are inflated. These six or 8,000 companies don't pay a fucking nickel in tax. They're sucking the blood out of the American uh uh, American economy, and, and, and they, they're taking subsidies. They, they got the law rigged in, in such a way that whatever they do is legal. The SEC is is mute. The, the, the federal government, there's no oversight. No oversight. They're, they're, they're scoundrels. This is how you break the oligarchy. 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 One... Sh one <laughs> One stock at a time. Yeah, see, I wrote a song. I look, folks. This is this is good news. We should all be Donald Trump. Donald Trump. This is for Donald Trump, my president. President, my president. Sink the markets. Take no <laughs> merciless. You have to break the banks, right? And by talking up the markets, it has a significant effect. Significant. Significant. You see. We just cost by talking up, by talking down the markets, by exposing Amazon for frauds that they are. 
I, these are legitimate companies. Look, I, I have a book on Amazon. I, you know, I, I, I bought, you know, a hundred things on Amazon. Pay your fucking tax. Give back. Give back. Right? No, no, no reciprocation. So now what do you get? This is your, this is your chickens coming home to roost, right? People are now onto you. Right? People are on to you. This is this is what we have to talk about. This is the problem. Right? Right? The oligarchy's got their hands in your pocket, pulling out your money and, and leaving you with your hand on your on your balls, right? right? President my president. Million dollars million 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 thank yous to, to Trump for, for calling out the oligarchy. Finally. Finally, hit them where it hurts. Look, you can't lock them up because they 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 control the FBI. Look at McCabe; he's 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 running into the corner trying to oh please please oh, oh, my my pension my pension my pension. Guy should be in fucking jail. Like Andrew, Andy McCabe and 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 Comey and Clinton. You can't all right, so you can't lock them up, but you can sink the fucking markets. Hit them where it really hurts. Hit them where it really hurts. In their pocket. Pow, president, my president. Donald Trump, Amazon, fuck, fuck you, fuck you. Peace out.